This talk is an overview of personality disorder diagnoses. In this talk, I'll review the diagnoses listed in the Personality Disorders chapter of the DSM-5, with simplified criteria and visual mnemonics based on A.A. A. Milne's Winnie the Pooh characters. Personality disorders are a complex and controversial topic. Since this talk is meant to be an overview, I won't go into the details, but I encourage you to be thoughtful when considering a diagnosis of a personality disorder. First, let's review the characteristics common to all personality disorders. The DSM-5 defines a personality disorder as any enduring pattern of inner experience and behavior that deviates from cultural expectations, manifested in the patient's cognition or thoughts, affectivity or expression of emotion, interpersonal function, and impulse control. These traits are inflexible and pervasive across contexts, lead to significant psychological distress or functional impairment, and begin at least as early as adolescence or early adulthood. Historically, personality disorders have been divided into three clusters based on common characteristics. Cluster A is considered the weird group because it includes diagnoses that involve eccentric behavior. Cluster B is the wild group because the diagnoses involve extreme affectivity. Cluster C is the worried group because the diagnoses involve significant anxiety. For the rest of this talk, I'll describe the 10 individual personality disorders simplifying them each to only a few defining characteristics and associating each with a different Winnie the Pooh character to help you distinguish them. Starting with cluster A, paranoid personality disorder involves pervasive suspiciousness, distrust, and hypervigilance, much like Rue's watchful mother, Kanga. Schizoid personality disorder is defined by a person who prefers to be a loner, is detached from society, and unemotional. This one is a bit of a stretch, but if you think of Christopher Robin as a detached child who prefers spending his time with imaginary animal friends, then he fits this diagnosis well. Schizotypal personality disorder involves eccentric or odd thoughts and behaviors and magical thinking, which is a belief in the supernatural and often involves believing that unrelated events are connected despite the absence of a plausible causal link. The imaginative Pooh Bear best fits this diagnosis. Moving on to cluster B, Antisocial personality disorder involves repeated violation of the rights of others, often with no remorse and pathological lying. In Winnie the Pooh, Tigger is known to frequently lie about his abilities and has little regard for the feelings of those around him. Borderline personality disorder is characterized by prominent mood liability, chaotic relationships, and recurrent self-harm. Tigger has some similarities to this diagnosis as well, considering his rapid mood shifts from excitement to deflation and how his behavior causes problems in his relationships. Histrionic personality disorder involves dramatic behavior, superficial relationships, and overall attention-seeking behavior, much like Kanga's child, Rue, who is always putting on a show and seeking his mother's attention. Narcissistic personality disorder involves grandiosity, entitlement, and a lack of empathy, like the verbose and overconfident owl. Finally, let's discuss the cluster C disorders. Avoidant personality disorder describes a person who is highly sensitive to rejection and has strong feelings of inadequacy, leading to them spending much of their time on their own, even though they want to have friends. Much like the lonely Eeyore, who keeps to his own gloomy corner of the woods due to his low self-esteem. Dependent personality disorder involves a need to be cared for, manifesting a submissive and clingy behavior and an inability to make their own decisions. Much like Piglet, who is highly anxious and depends on others to have any sense of direction. Obsessive-compulsive personality disorder describes those who are rigid, controlling, and perfectionistic, much like the uptight rabbit who gets overwhelmed if things don't go exactly to plan. That's the end of this talk. I hope this simplification makes it easy to remember the personality disorders. Thank you.